What's up YouTube family, welcome back. I'm gonna show you how we achieve this result and how you can do it too. I'm gonna to walk you through step by step. So I ask that you like, share, subscribe. If this is something that helps you out, we're gonna go in detail. And this isn't gonna be a beginner tutorial, this is gonna be intermediate. So if you're looking for some more tips and tools and things you can add in your bag, this is the right video for you. Okay, so if you're ready, we're gonna hop right into it. I usually do a pretty rough comb through before hopping straight in, especially if we're doing a skin fade. Because a lot of this hair, as long as it's not tangled, it's not gonna jam up your trimmers. So I know these will cut through this because I've cut his hair before. So I am not worried too much about that. But the first thing we're gonna do is establish the whole perimeter of the haircut. So his haircut, all this is gonna be balded out, is not even gonna be there. So we'll get it out of the way first, get him a light edge up in and then we will start his haircut I'm working with the DLC blade on the gold babless trimmer so these typically don't pull they don't snag and I'm using my left hand up there to kind of hold his scalp in place and sometimes you'll see me scrunch his scalp with my thumb just to stretch the skin a little bit to make the trimmers go over his skin a little bit easier. So that'll just give you some extra space to fade. Don't be afraid to move the skin like that away from his head to get a little bit more space to fade and make everything a little bit smoother. So we're going to set this ball line in from the middle of his vertical bar and taking it back to the middle of his occipital lobe. So we don't want it to drop too much and we have a very, very slight curve. So he wants to keep that pretty straight, just with a small curve. And we just want that to graduate with that vertical bar all the way up to the top of his parietal ridge. So that's where our boundary is. So we're just balding everything else out before we start to cut everything down to length and then do the fade. So there goes that last strip in the back. Some people like to go back in detail, but I really like to clean up as much as I can as I go so that I don't have to repeat steps in the process. So what I'm gonna do here is just clean this up a little bit now that we've gotten all the bulk off so that when we go back and do the final detail at the very end we don't have as much work to do so you'll see me just really tapping this corner and making sure if you can see him from the front that my trimmer is aligned with the center of his nose so at that at the angle for the vertical bar we want to make sure that it is always at least 90 degrees or smaller so i try to keep them at least at 90 degrees so i don't like to see those bars swinging out some people like that i've seen but usually don't go past 90 degrees okay so now his whole haircut is outlined with the trimmer so now all we got to do is color in between the lines. So we're gonna knock this top down to the length and then we're gonna put the fade on it and then we're gonna edge them up. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward, couple steps. So knock all this down to length. This is a zero guard with the grain. It's a style craft zero. So it's actually a little bit longer than the wall zero and it's got longer teeth. So it gives me a little bit more control and I actually know exactly what length he likes his hair at. We talked about it before. So Stylecraft Zero with the grain. And then we'll go back and I'll show you how we keep everything in his crown the same length, even though it grows out in a world pattern. So 
So what we're doing right here is cutting everything and combing everything with the grain and then knocking it down with that zero halfway open like we were doing before. So I know the next step is gonna scare some of you guys, but we're gonna cut it against the grain. So for that crown, we're gonna cut that with the grain to get everything laid down. We're gonna take out all the dark spots that we can, that we can comb through, comb out, and then cut off. But the next thing we're gonna do, I'll show you here in a sec, is to comb everything to make sure that we get it down to the real length and make sure that that crown is not gonna start sticking up. So we're combing that against the grain, and combing it back with the grain just to see which way those hairs like to go. So be patient with it and then just make sure that everything blends the way it's supposed to. Okay, here it is. Here's the scary part for all the waivers. We're going against the grain. It went up a full guard size, so you might have to go up a guard and a half depending on the type of hair. But we're going against the grain to make sure it's still gonna be the same darkness and that we don't have any dark spots and that we don't have any high spots. So we're still combing that with the grain and then knocking it down against the grain in some of these more dense areas. So we just wanna make sure that that crown is cut to length and that it'll lay the way that it's supposed to. So don't be afraid to go in there, warn people if you have to before you do that, but use a really high guard. Make sure you're not using one that's too short so you do not leave any light spots in somebody's hair. So there's a couple dark spots we knock down against the grain too. And then we're using the smallest part of our barber comb to comb everything back in where we're about to start fading. All right, here's the fun part. We're about to start fading finally. So I'm gonna do this in two sections. The first section is gonna be pretty big here because we're going in with our master. So our master opens all the way up to a one and not a one half. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna make a big guideline going halfway up our fading zone to the middle of the parietal ridge. The parietal ridge is the part that is curved like a ridge. So cool, we're excited, we're starting fading. We're gonna do two zones and then take them out. So I like to work with the shape of the head to figure out where to put my guidelines depending on the shape of that person's head and their skull structure. So that just makes it a lot easier for you to understand where to put your guidelines and making sure you're not just putting them on there randomly to create a fading zone that has nothing to do with the shape of the head, unless you're doing it on purpose, which is fine too. Make sure you're brushing those hairs off too, just so you're not going over the same spots over and over again with some of the hairs that it might have already been cutting off and they're just stuck to the scalp. After you get all the little hairs brushed out to make sure that everything is even, let's go back and detail it before you move on to our next fading zone. So for the rest of this fading zone, we're gonna take the haircut up to the top of the parietal ridge. So we're gonna take out the rest of the parietal ridge and take that up to the top of his head. So the top section. So we'll do this all the way around and that'll almost make it look like a fade. So once we take those last couple lines out at the bottom, you'll see what that looks like here. So you'll see me going back here and knocking these hairs down to make sure they're all the same length. So you gotta use a couple different angles based on the way they grow. 
but that is just so that we don't have to continue doing this section over and over. So the next thing we're gonna do is start with our clipper all the way open again. So this is a different clipper. It opens to a half. And I'm starting with it all the way open just to make sure that we're not making any lighter spots than we want. So now that we see where our one open will go, so that's taking us up. We're going up halfway of the original fading zone. So I'll put that in here and then we're gonna close the clipper up and do a little bit more detailing just to take out that bottom line. So I only fade with two zones at this point. So that made it simpler for me, just knowing that I have a lower zone and a top zone. So hopefully that helps simplify it for you. And then you'll just blend over them to make them connect. And for removing that bottom line, we're gonna go one click out from all the way closed. So that should still give us a soft line and it'll give us room to apply some pressure instead of closing our clipper up all the way off the jump. So we're stretching that skin with the thumb and then we're applying a little bit of pressure just to work out some of that line as we need to. We'll take it with the grain to get any hairs that are sticking up. So we're switching back to our gold master to go ahead and remove the rest of the bottom section of this first guideline. So we add two zones and then we take two zones out. So uh, that's what we're doing right here. I think we're gonna take the rest of this ball line out with the trimmer, but we're doing some detail work here and we're mostly just taking the beginning of that fade zone out and leaving ourselves plenty of room to make sure that we can keep that extra blurry. Don't forget that you can rotate the clipper with the face of it so the part that's facing up towards the head so once you get past the very uh, apex of the comb part you'll start cutting closer and closer and closer on the front facing side of the clipper as well you can get that thing all the way down to skin just by rotating the clipper So we're doing some very light scoops out with the trimmer close to that ball line. So some of that, and then we're using the corner just to also paint in some lighter spots to get a little bit more contrast. So we're all just detailing through this section and we're gonna do that all the way around the head. Here's a better angle of what we did. So this is the half all the way open. And then we're gonna switch to bigger guard. So we got two sections, one, two up top, and then we got two sections down low. And we're just gonna connect those two and kind of fade over our last fade. So from here, we'll just repeat the fading steps across the back and on the opposite side, and then we'll go ahead and get him edged up in the front. So now we got our master all the way open again and just kind of flicking out the bottom of that initial section with 
the one open that we made the first time. So flicking that out a little bit. So we're just going over and moving our fading sections up and then detailing through here. So you'll see me gradually close the clipper up as we move further down. So here we got the clipper all the way closed up and you're gonna see me rotate the palm of it forward before we switch to our trimmer to take the rest of that line all the way out. That's why we didn't put a very hard line in the beginning because it just saves your time not fighting to get it out. You can apply a little pressure or you could just use a shorter blade to get that thing out. Okay, no, we went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit with the trimmer here, just making sure we're walking through the same steps with the process. And then we're going to go back in with our clipper at the end of this, just to make sure that all the sections are smooth. So that master really gives you a lot of range all the way from the zero to a full number one. Since his skin is clean, we're doing a basic three-step process for his edge up. So the first thing we're gonna do is knock everything down with the trimmer. We're gonna do a really light enhancement. We're gonna keep combing everything into the hairline. And then we're gonna hit him with the razor. So those are the only steps we're doing. Right now, we're just making sure the front of this edge up is crispy with these wall detailers. So as you see, I'm gonna grab his head with my left hand and I would definitely recommend making sure that you keep the client stable when you're doing the corners, just in case they move around or um, you know anything itches or they gotta sneeze. Just go ahead and hold on to the head and don't be afraid to rest your knuckles uh, on their forehead when you're gonna go ahead and get these vertical bars all the way into the angle you want. We're going with a really light enhancement just to make his vertical bars pop a little bit with this skin fade. So we don't want it very dark. We don't even want it to look like he's gotten enhanced. So we're just gonna go ahead and spray that in on both sides and then razor that in. So I just wanted to put a side note that we wanted his fade to look halfway faded in the middle of the vertical bars on each side. So that's the target we were going for, working with that occipital lobe the way that it is. So for him, it happened to fall right in the middle of his bars, the halfway point of the fade. The next thing we're going to do is just knock the front of his hairline down just a little bit before we go ahead and razor him in. So we're going to make sure there's nothing sticking up and that the hairline that the front of it just slopes down a little bit so that it lasts a little bit longer. So we start off razoring in his vertical bars. We'll do the one on his right, our left, and then we'll do the opposite one before we just connect them across the front. So now that we got both of his vertical bars razored in, 
you'll be able to see how straight the front of the hairline should already look. So having those razored in makes it a lot easier to connect the dots from each corner of the hairline to the front of the hairline in a straight line. So we're starting in that left corner on his side and we're just gonna follow that hairline all the way across the front. And then once we get done with that, we're gonna clean up his forehead with the razor all the way down to his eyebrows. Just so all of that hair, all that space is as clean and as crisp as possible to match your haircut. It's important to make sure you get all the hairs off the forehead, like I was saying again, just to make sure you get as clean of a finish as possible when somebody leaves your chair. You also wanna make sure you get any flyaways with the shears, if there are any left at this point off the hairline. So just making sure that you don't miss any little details as far as having everything laid down and clean. So now that we're done with this cut, we're just gonna go back in with the detailers and we're gonna go back in with the shaver and make sure we don't have any extra little hairs anywhere left on his face or at the bottom part of his face. And for the people saying that you can't use a shaver on black people, it depends on where. So I would not go up any further on him because of where his hair starts to be a lot more curly. So I'm not digging in, being gentle, just taking the stuff that's sticking out of the pore, not digging in too deep with that shaper. So it's safe, not in the back, just on the sides and cheeks. So this is the point in the cut where you take a step back, you cross check everything, you look in your mirrors, make sure you don't have any dark spots, use the corners to get anything out, and then make sure that everything's as clean as you can get it without taking too much unnecessary time here. Hey, if you made it to this point in the video, I really appreciate you watching. We're just gonna blend everything else in in any of these transition zones right here. But I appreciate you watching. Go ahead and click the button to subscribe. Let me know what other questions you have down in the comments. We really tried to cover everything in detail, but let me know what other cuts you wanna see and what questions you have about barbering. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon and I'll show you, I'll be quiet so you can go ahead and see what this before and after looks like. All right, y'all, this is after. This is after we're done with everything, and I'm gonna swap back and show you what he looked like before right here. All 
our YouTube family. So we're really working on growing this channel out. So help grow the channel, share the video. And somebody you think this might help, if you learned anything, share the video, like it, subscribe, comment, and I will talk to you guys soon.